cases as a tool that allows you to create forms and then you are able to monitor these uh, in cases. So in this instance we are creating a new form in our organization, cases, for our scrum planning. We give it a text and the identifier of this is of course task ID. We have what is the the steps we want this to proceed in and we have some We add some parameters. First off, we add a sprint value. The number of difficulty in the scrum. Then we add a business value. And then we add a task identifier, a task name. and we save this form. We are now in WAVE and then in WAVE we can add a new form that we want to monitor with cases and then it adds the cases gadget and we can set l select the sprint planning and we can say there's a sprint 10, it starts as a backlog item uh, the task name is the logo, the business value is 10, the, 20. We can add some more to this wave. Mastering wave, for instance. And this user can then see this wave in his planning and he can see it's 10 he's uh, then uh, well the logo isn't that much worth but it might be a bit difficult to implement and of course you can also write there uh, make and they of course have the whole bit opportunity in cases to add a lot of extra fields uh, or use the wave to to add more specific information on how you think the this uh, uh, logo should look and we can of course put in w uh, images whatever you need as a regular wave um, and in this guy I can then see okay we have changed the value but okay let's change it to 25 and then let's add it to the sprint so now we have changed some different values for this and then we can go into cases and see how everything works out in there in cases we can see we have the scrum planning here we have and it's really easy to just go to the dashboard and we can see we have some different instances here we have the sprint that we put place this uh, item 10 in and we can see the, the name of it the the current values of it and we can see the the, the log on how this has changed and we can see who have changed it from which values to which values and we can also see what are the events that are occurred how does they c connect uh, between each other uh, so we can see which are these uh, steps that take the most time uh, to to be in so this was the short introduction to how Cases works and how you can use it in your uh, organization.